It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Marston's Brewery. It's a limited edition beer. It's the number two Horning Glow Street bottle conditioned Imperial Stout coming in at 7.4% ABV. I want to say a massive, massive thank you to Scott for sending me this beer. I mentioned in the kind of, I think it was called a barley wine. Number one was a barley wine. I picked it up myself in Waitrose in South Wales. And I only mentioned in the review that um, I know they have an Imperial Stout version. I'm not able to get it, blah, 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 blah. Next thing you know, I have a lovely message from Scott for, on Facebook saying to me, I have a few bottles would you like one of course i said thank you very much scott i'd like to say from here to you thank you very much scott boom 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 without further ado let's get this bottle conditioned imperial stout out of the box 7.4 percent abv i might have already mentioned that but i'm super excited by this one and um, i really enjoyed the first beer I'll be honest, I, I don't mind being honest with, with Marston's, I really don't, I, I, but I was, I was never really a massive fan of Marston's, I always kind of, you know, I've always been a little bit critical of the, of the regional breweries in the UK because I feel like they have a massive brewing tradition of brewing fantastic beer and I feel like the last maybe decade or so maybe even longer has been about bums on seats selling food in their restaurants in their bars and and their great big pubs and and, and, and it's great it's great to see that that here we are Mr. McGinty, Patrick McGinty, Marston's brewer, head brewer. He looks a, 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 like me, a middle-aged man, but kind of young enough to, to understand the craft beer scene, understand where the industry is going. And I think he's made a, an executive decision to, to, to I don't know how long he's been head brewer, but let's say he's he's he's, he's been a few years. He's he's at, at, at being head brewer at Masters. He's gone. I want to put my foot down. I want to put my stamp on something. I want to brew something fantastic. I want to leave some kind of legacy behind here at Masters, where we've brewed barley wines and imperial stouts, and they haven't been just run-of-the-mill barley wines. They haven't been just run-of-the-mill Imperial Stouts. They've actually been really good. I'm hoping this is really good. I really am hoping it's really good because I built it up. I really enjoyed number one, Horning Glow Street. It was very good. A very, very good example of a beer. And I'm hoping I haven't just blowed a load of smoke into this beer and and it's going to let me down. But but let's let's get into it. There's the black bottle cap. Um, bottle number 223,372. 500ml bottle. Let's go. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Wrong glass. Let's grab this one. Just realise what I've done. Um, I'll talk to you about it later. I want to concentrate on the beer for now, but it's very laughable. It's very funny. I'm doing a live feed here um, on my mobile phone to Facebook, and I was cleaning this glass, like getting ready for to do this beer review, and I just realised that 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 I've cleaned a glass from another brewery. And I've just realised that, and I'm like, I'm like, well, what am I, what am I doing? Uh, I understand this is from a different brewery, Rogue, uh, but I've just got it from the cupboard, and they're, they're three thousand miles away in America, so I'm pretty sure Marston's Brewery won't mind too much that I'm using another brewery's glass. We got a one-finger tan-coloured head, 
jet black beer in the glass. It looks, it's got a lovely body to it. I can see that by just rocking the beer back and forth. You can see there's a slight kind of lag with the carbonation chasing the head of the glass. There's a nice little bit of kind of lacing on the glass as well. Yeah, it looks very good. And while I was just talking about that, I was just thinking to myself, I have, yeah, they made an oyster, oyster stout. I was thinking to myself, have I ever had a stout from Marston's? And yes, yes, I've had their oyster stout, which was a long time ago. I think I liked it. I, I think I liked that one. Right, let's get the aroma on this jet black beer. Instant smile. Instant, instant smile. Uh, Thumb up already for Marston's. Um, yeah. Chocolate, coffee, caramel aromas coming through from the roasted malt. I brewed a collaboration before now. Um, I went all the way down to a, another regional brewery in the UK. I'm not going to say which one. Um, we brewed a double IPA and ah, oh, do I yeah why not why not why you know this channel has always been about being honest it's always been about being honest um, so I go down to this other regional brewery uh, we brew a, a, a black IPA um, we brew a, a it was the first two years of the channel opening so um, I, had a, I had a crazy first three or four years where, where everybody wanted to brew with me and it was like out of control craziness and, and I, I, I've calmed it all down since then. I was like, it's getting too much. Um, I calmed it all down, but traveling, brewing beers with, with different companies. Um, I, I brew with a select select kind of few breweries that, that, that I really like these days and I'm I'm a bit more selective of, of who I brew with and anyway 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 we brewed this IPA with loads of kind of like light malts and then right at the end the brewer chucked in this bucket of black liquid and turned it black and even even back then in my naivety even in in my kind of like early years of recording video beer reviews on YouTube I thought that was a bit odd what what's gone on there that was a bit odd but I can tell I mean this day I've been doing it for 10 years now so I know straight away that it's just roasted malt here and I'm sorry for the long-windedness but I can I can smell the roasted malt. I can smell the chocolate, the coffee, the caramel, the richness of the beer. What I'm trying to say is, just by putting my nose to the beer, it's been brewed well. It's been brewed well. Let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah. Stone the Crows! Stone the Crows! What a fabulous, fabulous beer from Marston's. Well done, Marston's. The number one was good, the number two is good. Let this be the, the platform where, even going back to Marston's pedigree, go back to where you belong and, and, and brew terrific beer even if even if it's just for the likes of me to to have a smile on my face and just be jumping for joy when I get something really really good and I'm not the majority my, I'm not the minority anymore I, I'm really not the minority there's a lot of people out there now which really know their stuff they really know a good beer and they demand it 
they demanded they 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 well you know i uh, i've been to been to some of these regional breweries pubs and i've gone i've gone to the bar and I'm like, i don't want to drink that one i don't want to drink that one oh i'll have a pint of lager or, or i'll go I'll drink that, but I'm not going to drink too much of it, you know, because I'm going to have a banging headache in the morning. But this, this, this is really, really good. The mouthfeel is terrific. Rich, creamy, thick, velvety mouthfeel. Roasted malt on the back end, chocolate coffee, caramel. It's, it's wonderful. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth a little bit. It's not overly carbonated. It's just got a lovely carbonation to it. And it just proves, it just proves that, that the rich history that a company like Marsons have. Being able to go through the, the brewer's log. Breweries like Marsons have a brewer's log. And they log every single new type of beer that they've ever brewed so they have a rich knowledge they have a rich history in in brewing beer so i reckon they've gone through that brewer's log let's have a look again mr patrick Patrick McGinty, he's gone through that brewer's log, he's done his research, he's gone, let's brew that beer there. And he's put his stamp on it, of course. He's probably gone, like, let's barrel age it, let's, let's, let's do a bit of, kind of like, oak aging with the beer. And they brewed something really, really good. And it deserves to be in a box. It deserves to be in that kind of lovely packaging. It's not an average beer. It's some raisin, some plum, some fig, some prune. That's all coming from the roasted malt. It's coming from the hops as well. The hops and the roasted malt have combined to give that plum, fig, prune, chocolate, coffee, caramel. Flavours is so rich. Now I can really rock the beer back and forth. I've drunk quite a bit of it now, so I can really kind of like spin this up. Look at that. That lag, see the carbonation? lagging when it when you kind of rock it back and forth you see the chasing it, it chases the head the carbonation that's a bit of lag and that's that's the body that's the rich thick body of the beer holding up it's, it's beautiful i'm gonna rate it I've, I've spoken enough i'm gonna rate it I really like it. I hope that little old us here on YouTube can 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 sway the minds of 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 big regional breweries in the UK to to go stop. Wait a minute. We've gone down this road of of just producing a, a, a something kind of just drinkable and and being thrown in a clear glass bottle in the past let's stop what we're doing look at what we are as brewers and and make big decisions and make big decisions on brewing really really good beer there's, there's, there's new, newer breweries out there now. I, I'd say Brewdog, or a, let's look at Brewdog. They, 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 they're bigger than some of these regional breweries and they've got bigger than these regional breweries. They're, they're a worldwide company now and that's down to brewing really, well, I was about to say really good beer. Brewdog, Brewdog have been on a health of Skelter, that's another story. Sometimes they can brew something fantastic. Sometimes I'm screaming and pulling my hair out because because it's awful. 
but Brewdog are a company that can show these regional breweries that if you brew fantastic beer or or just not just fantastic beer but just beer that that people like then you can take your company somewhere it doesn't have to be about gam and egg and chips and 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 steak and chips and it doesn't have to be about that it doesn't have to be just about the how many people are sitting around a table in your pub eating let it be about the about the beer you're a brewery first and foremost have i rated it <laughs> eight out of ten eight out of ten from real L craft beer Please put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.